Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. A uh, question was asked to me about bed bugs, and the question is is pretty, and he, it's a pretty simple question, but it actually involves a pretty in depth answer, which is why I'm making this video today. Where do bed bugs come from? Now it seems like a really easy answer but it actually is pretty involved. Bed bugs live primarily with people. Um, they can be spread by people. That's, that's the problem, is that they can hitch a ride on you at any time from anywhere, and this is not meant to make you feel like you're you know paranoid or anything like that, but just to tell you the truth, they can be anywhere at any time. Uh, the top places that people bring bed bugs from are not just hotels and motels, although they are the top reason that people get bed bugs is from spending the nights in hotels with infested bed bugs. Um, one of the common misconceptions is that bed bugs come from nastiness, that they're attracted to people that aren't very clean, they don't keep a very nice house, and so this is the reason why they have bed bugs. That is not true. It is the furthest from the truth. Bed bugs are not attracted to decay, mold, mildew, just dirtiness in general. They're not attracted to that. Bed bugs are actually attracted to a host. They need a blood meal. They need blood to survive, much like a mosquito. They have to have blood in order to be able to further produce bed bugs. So they're going to live near their food source. If they're, you know, for an example, let, let me give you an example. People get bats in their attic. Now, bats bring a different type of bug. They bring bat bugs. Bat bugs are very similar to bed bugs and, in fact, get misidentified as bed bugs very, very often. They can live in your home. They can feed off of you, but they prefer to feed off of bats and birds, things that typically come down in your attic or in your uh, chimney, like especially unused chimneys. Um, and what, what will happen with bat bugs is people will get them in their home. They'll get infested with them, much like they do bed bugs. They're a lot easier to get rid of than bed bugs because they're not something that travels on, you know, person to person. They travel on bat to bat. And I actually, um, I actually addressed this in a video that I've got coming up Monday about cockroaches and their immunities. Bat, uh, bed bugs have immunity to a lot of chemicals, and it has a lot to do with the fact that they live in and around people all the time. So they get used to pesticides, and they become immune to them. Bat bugs don't actually develop that immunity because they're not really around a lot of chemicals. They live on bats, and bats don't spray, spray them with anything. So a lot of times when you get a bat bug infestation, you can get rid of them usually in just one treatment. all it takes, and they're dead. Um... But the way you get bat bugs in your house is bats will live in your chimney, all right? You'll go outside at sundown or sunup, and you realize, wow, i got a lot of bats coming in my chimney. Where are these things? Why? I've got to seal my chimney. And so you get up, and you put a chimney cap on, and the bats are gone, all right? Well, now the bat bugs have no host. They're living in the chimney because they were living off the bats. Then they come into your home through a crack in the mortar, or, you know, they find ways to get in. If they don't, they die. You know, they starve and they die. But a lot of times they're able to find their way into your home, most likely from attic spaces, because bats will go into your louver vents on your attic as well and live there. And so the bat bugs will make their way into your home and they'll start feeding on you uh, because they need blood just like bed bugs. And so, uh, in fact, if you look at them just for the naked eye, they're very hard to tell apart from a bed bug. They're very similar, um, but you can tell. With a magnifying glass, just a simple magnifying glass is all it takes. Uh, the way the hair grows on their body, you can tell the difference between a bat bug and a bed bug. And they are a little different underneath, uh, you know, magnification. So you can tell the difference. So that's that's one thing that people do get. You know, they do tend to get bat bugs and they do uh, misidentify them as bed bugs. And so it's a lot cheaper to get rid of bat bugs is what I'm, basically what I'm trying to say. You don't have to come out as often. You don't have to treat as often. Uh, usually just one treatment's all it takes to kill bat bugs. All right. Bed bugs come from anywhere people can be. Um, 
libraries, bus stops, outside, in a bus stop. Uh, they can be on um, just public transportation in general, on the bus, uh, in the subway. Um, they can be at restaurants, movie theaters. I did a customer um, not too long ago, just a few weeks ago, who picked up uh, bed bugs at a movie theater. She had, uh, she was there on Valentine's Day of all days, trying to have a nice romantic day with her boyfriend, you know, going out to a movie, and she picked up bed bugs off of one of the chairs in the movie theater, uh, brought them home, and ended up getting them in her home. Uh, woke up the next morning and found them crawling in her sheets in her bed. That's, you know, awful. Um, locally, uh, I, I service the area between Charlottesville and Roanoke, Virginia, so it's a pretty big area just for me, but, uh, in that area that I service is a city called Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh, Lynchburg actually had to shut down their public library for a few days because the library got infested with bed bugs. Um, so, you know, the the main thing you can do. So, so one of the one of the questions that arises when I when I, when I try to explain to people that you can basically get bed bugs from anywhere people are. You know, even like movie theaters, uh, restaurants. Um, public transportation, uh, airplanes, cruise ships, um, you know, it basically anywhere people are, then it kind of, it kind of, the question arises that, well, then what do I do to protect myself in my home? How can I keep the bed bugs from, you know, even if they do hitch a ride on me, you know, so basically it, it makes you feel like a defeatist. Like it's like, wow, I can't believe it. I'm going to end up getting bed bugs because I've got to survive. I can't be a hermit in my house my whole life. You know, I've got to be able to go out and be a person. How do I fight this infestation? How do I keep this problem from following me home? If they can hitchhike in my pockets, if they can hitchhike on my cuff of my pant leg, if they get on my shoes, you know, these are ways people bring them in. Uh, the one lady I told you about with the movie theater, they got onto her jacket and she brought them home in her jacket. Uh, you know, how do you, you can't feel bugs if they're crawling on your clothing. You have no nerves in your clothes. So how do you stop from bringing these things into your home? Or what do you do to prevent the problem? Now, this is really easy. It, it, it's, this is really, this video is meant to ease your mind to try to settle people's paranoia over bed bugs. Because one of the biggest problems with people that are worried about infesting their homes with bed bugs, they feel like they have, they're fighting an uphill battle, that they're never going to be able to keep the things out of their house. Uh, especially people who have had bed bugs before, they just are always paranoid they're going to bring them back into their home. And so, because it's not easy to get rid of them, it takes a while to get rid of bed bugs. They're not something that disappear right away, and it can take a lot of work, especially if you're trying to do it yourself. It's a very involved, very labor intensive. You can go back through my videos. I've got a video I did uh, actually showing how I treat a home for bed bugs, just to give you an idea of the amount of labor that goes into it. And so you can search my channel. I think I've named it like the most extensive bed bug treatment on YouTube or something like that because I'm willing to show people how to do it themselves. But um, you could go and take a look at that and actually see the type of labor that goes into getting rid of bed bugs if you get them. So how do you prevent infesting your home? All right, it's really easy. Treat your house. You know, regular pest control will help a lot. It will save you a lot of money. It's very effective. You know, even with pesticides that are not labeled for bed bugs, work on bed bugs. Um, if you if you have a regular pest control, and regular by, you know, yeah, quarterly service or every other month is okay, but by regular, most pesticides really work the best when they're the most potent, which is within the first 30 days. So usually I advise people that are really worried about bed bugs is to do pest control once a month on a monthly basis. It is cheaper. You will save money. You will save a lot of money over, get, over an actual infestation of bed bugs. I was doing a home where the woman had a suitcase. She, had, she kept her suitcase in a room upstairs. 
Uh, it was kind of like an attic space. She really didn't use it for anything except storage of suitcases and maybe some old winter clothes or summer clothes or whatever. She wasn't using at that time of year. And she had like a big walk-in closet, kind of. Um, she went on a trip, brought the suitcase home, took it upstairs after unpacking everything, you know, washed her clothes and everything she needed to wash, and left everything else upstairs. And I went to her house. Now, I had been doing her house for years for pest control and found that the bed bugs, she brought bed bugs home, and the bed bugs that had crawled out of her suitcase had died all over the floor because when they got into the house, the house had a residual of pesticide around all the cracks and crevices in the room. And so when they tried to get out and get away and, and get into her house, they all died. So that saved her a lot of money. Even the bed bugs, she had three bed bugs that found their way downstairs into her bathroom that was right underneath that one closet area, and they died in her bathtub. So they didn't even make it into her bedroom at all. I church searched all over the mattresses of box springs. She's never had them. She's never actually gotten infested with bed bugs. Even though she brought them home, there were probably about 75 bed bugs dead in the floor. So she brought home a lot of bed bugs, but she was gone for like two weeks on a vacation. So she was staying in one hotel for two weeks. I don't know how she didn't get any bites on herself, but she didn't, you know, but she did bring them home with herself. So just realize that there are ways that you can prevent. You know, even if you don't want to hire pest control, write it down on your calendar. Treat your own house once a month with general pesticides. You know, things you can buy, uh, you know, over the counter, Walmart, Home Depot, places like that, farm supply stores, and get yourself some pesticide. Read the labels. You know, make sure it's labeled to use indoors and treat all your cracks and all your crevices and all around inside your house. And this will help you keep bed bugs away. They're not that hard to keep away. It does help. It does. So don't worry. Don't be afraid. If you like this video and you think this content is something that you'd like to see more of, give me a thumbs up and share the video. And don't forget, if you really like the videos that I produce, you can subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit the notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you get notified when I do live streams. I go live every Saturday night usually after 10 o'clock, and so that uh, we can discuss things. You can ask me any questions live. It's called The Bed Bug Show, but you can ask me any questions about any bugs at all. If you don't want your question to be, you know, your name to be broadcast on the air, or you'd like me to go in-depth on a, on a video that I make myself, then uh, send me a message on Facebook, Green Acres Pest Control LLC, and I'll answer as soon as I can. Also, I'm on Twitter at Green Acres PC. That's A K E R S is how you spell my last name. And you can tweet me uh, pictures there, and I can uh, identify your pest problem, and I can help you. I don't mind. You guys have a really great day. Oh, and if you have any more really in depth questions that you'd like to talk to me over the phone, you're more than likely, uh, I mean, you're more than, oh man, what's the word? Now my brain is going blank. But uh, you're perfectly welcome to go use my website. At the top of my website, there is a link called Contact Us. You could send me a, a, send me your phone number, and I'll give you a call. And we can talk about it more personal. So uh, it's uh, greenacrespc.com. You guys have a really great day. I appreciate it. Thanks.